horizontal beam. Horizontal will weigh heavy. It won't shrink up. If you have a diagonal, it will shrink at the highest point. So you get what on your bars? Oh. Your little holes. So to alleviate that, go horizontal the width of the ear, drop diagonal in front. Now, while you glide, look, horizontal the width, drop in, fold over. When you come in, now watch this finger, guys, look, push up. You see that? Up. Come down through a 90 to a 45 in. Go inside, and very gently, piano bend the fabric. As the fabric is bending, remove the entire section. And you'll cut the most beautiful, Gonna be doing this. If you want to go outside there when you finish off, I'll stay in contact with the power to be here at there. And what I'll do is I'll give you a web where you can talk to me. You want to do that? Yes. Yes. So if you say, I sort of got what you did, but I don't know what a sway is, the hottest cut in New York and LA at the moment is called a Jackie O Pompadour. That means it's a sway, chisel, a pompadour, a cut. That is the hottest cut out there. I'll show you how to do that in about eight minutes with precision. So when you come to the sway at the front, turn it around, take the sway out, bring the sway back in, on your side there, now watch. A sway must do this, guys. Fold around, in, and touch the other side. That's the sway. It folds around and touches the other side. Let that sit. When the line is in, you let it run in. Clean your beam. Then, when you come to the back, so you've got the front four panels of the octagon catered for. Now you come to the back four. This is where you go from one cone to two. Now this will freak you out. But that's okay, because you're getting a sneak peek at what's going on in certain parts of the states. That is where you take the cones, very gently, fold the fabric down. It'll fold under like a dream guys. And you take the two cones, walk them up. Now, when they're there, and you get the line to sit. Basically, what you're doing is you're looking for, come on over here, baby, I want you to see this. Come on, stand over this way. Moving down, thank you. Now, when you get this, so, when you say how these cups are done and how I came about doing them, it was just 30 years ago being really different. I didn't want a cup like everyone else. So, what happened in my journey was, I came from a small farming community in the south of England. There were 3,000 people. There were more combine harvesters and tractors than there was people. So when you say, oh, you're from England, you're from London, that's bullshit. <laughs> Most people come from everywhere but a big city. So when you say, well, I'm in Tulsa, it's no different than being in Manhattan. It's the same premise as when you're in a studio working. So don't allow people to say that to you. Oh, you guys, I'm from Ma Beverly Hills. You're from like some little farm area in Southern California. But they'll tell you students, this is the way it is. That's crap. Here's the way it is. Let them show you how to cut different than anyone else. Anybody. Now you're in a league of your own. You've got to go to that league when you work it. When you cut inverted arc sway molds and you get a pompadour at the top, you compress together because you can't do it with fingers. Here you pull, you cut exterior in. You pull that side, interior out. Your symmetry is off. You'll never get that to balance whatever you're doing with it. Whereas if you take two tones, perfect balance, perfect balance. The fabric is smooth and elegant and cut the center. Your art is absolutely wonderful. It's like you've painted like a Rembrandt in there. So you're labeled as the ultimate artist. So it took me 37 of my 42 years to become third out of 7 million in 92 countries. There's two gone, one has just passed away. But here's what I, I use it as a way. I work for it. 
But when someone says there's no money in the business, what are you thinking? There's no money in it, and couldn't you do something else? Kiss my ass, and you know I didn't want to do nothing. <laughs> I'm an artist. You're the last raw artist on the planet. You can't rebuild something once it's cut. When you look at it, you're not an architect. You're an artist with an architectural ability. So architects would love to be you. And when people see that you're really unique and different, everyone envies you. Because you work in an environment that's fun and beautiful. And you can make more money than a doctor or a lawyer if you do it right. But if you're doing it just to fill a void, do me the biggest honor, be the business. Are you with me? Don't come into this business. There's a million jobs out there. If you come in to really make it in this business, dude, look how many guys are in the room. All the boys in the room, stand up. Fast, stand up. All the guys. Two guys. Now, this is not a male chauvinistic statement. Look at the advantages you've got so far. <laughs> Women love men hairdressers. I'm just telling you the world basic facts. I'm not BSing you, I'm telling you the truth. They love him. Now imagine if he can be in a world of beautiful women, beauty, fashion, and fun, and make more money than someone who's been 11 years at university to get a master's degree. What do you think? Ain't that the coolest place to be? But here's the cool thing. Every single person in the room can do it. But there'll be some of you that maybe you don't want to do it. Like I said, if you're in it as a band-aid thing, just so you get married, you have kids, you do it on the side, don't do that. Don't do that. There's so much in this business, it's staggering. Now let me show you how this one works. You take the base, you place this underneath, you lift up and out. Once it's there, draw down and remove. Wow. Don't worry about the name, guys. That's your signature to a hair. Once she's there, bring up, lift up, out, and hit it. Now I'll stay where I am now, so if you can move, you want to see me, do it. You're only concentrating on the center two panels. Are you all cool with that? Yes. Yeah. Talk to me, don't just say nothing. The two are the center areas. So you draw this up, and then out. Just on the center, my darling. Now always remember, clean a coat when you draw it. Always clean them. <laughs> Just the center two. That's all your aim. Either side and central back. You've got to lock them. This is how I lock them. Now don't you guys worry over there, I'll come around and show you on the other side. When you get there, light compression. Hit the cones. And when you guys, and there'll be some in the room that will reinvent the way to cut hair. Find it, reinvent it, and become famous. It's an awesome gig, guys. And when you put it in there, work the line. Turn it around. Push in. Bring it out. This is what I'll be doing at the memorial presentation in Vegas coming up. to be done so precision and so fast when you come here. For you guys to do that, we love you.